In 2021, the remote coal city of Hagong in northeastern China was forced to undergo an unprecedented financial restructuring. According to Bloomberg, Hagong's struggles are seen as an ominous sign for Chinese Communist Party leader Xi Jinping, as other heavily indebted cities seem to be following in its footsteps. Hagong City in Heilongjiang Province has a population of nearly 1 million people. The city gained attention about 18 months ago because its debt was more than twice its fiscal revenue. The residents of Hagong are now feeling the impact of fiscal austerity. Bloomberg recently conducted interviews in the city, and local people expressed their grievances. They complained about insufficient indoor heating during the harsh winter. Taxi drivers mentioned receiving more traffic fines. Public school teachers expressed concerns about rumored layoffs. Street cleaners reported that their wages had been delayed for two months. Outside the largest hospital in the city, a middle-aged employee wearing a green hospital uniform and a mask stated that her employer unilaterally changed her employment contract from a government-operated medical institution to a third-party vendor, reducing benefits such as holiday overtime pay. Since the end of last year, her monthly salary of 1,600 Chinese yuan, approximately $228, has been consistently delayed for more than 10 days each month. While pushing a cart with flattened cardboard boxes to an outdoor recycling location, the anonymous woman expressed her unease. She said, everything is so expensive, and it's hard to afford three meals a day. Every day, a group of elderly coal workers gathers on the roadside in worn-out clothes in Higang, starting from dawn. They hold iron shovels, hoping to find work for the day, loading coal onto trucks and trains. One of the workers, named Zhang, told Bloomberg that on good days, he can earn around 100 Chinese yuan, approximately 15 US dollars. But most of the time, the exhausting work only brings in 10 to 20 yuan. According to Bloomberg, Hagang is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of the local government debt problem in China. This issue is causing increasing concern among investors and has the potential to weigh down the Chinese economy in the coming years. Goldman Sachs estimates that the total amount of local government debt in China is approximately $23 trillion, a figure that includes implicit borrowings from thousands of financial firms established by provinces and cities. It is concerning that local governments may have to painfully reduce spending or divert funds from growth-promoting projects in order to continue servicing their debt. Economist Jose Song from the Macro Polo think tank in the United States stated, many cities will become like Hagong within a few years. Jose Song also mentioned that China's aging population and population decline mean that many cities lack the labor force to sustain faster economic growth and tax revenues. Song suggests that the central government could potentially maintain stability in the short term by requiring banks to provide debt extensions to local governments. Without loan extensions, the reality is that over two-thirds of the localities will be unable to repay their debts on time. Investors in bond markets in Heilongjiang province, where Hagang is located, have already been vigilant about related risks. The issues in other cities are also evident. Recent attention has been drawn to Shangqiu, a city in Henan province with a population of 7.7 .7 million. The city almost suspended its only public transportation service due to a lack of funds. Reports also indicate that civil servants in affluent cities like Shanghai have experienced salary reductions. In Guizhou province, officials have requested assistance from Beijing. During the past three years, the Chinese Communist Party's extreme zero-COVID policy has severely strained local finances, leading to high levels of government debt and default risks. According to the annual budget reports of local governments in China, the provinces alone spend at least 352 billion yuan approximately 50.69 billion U.S. dollars, in 2022 on COVID-19 prevention and control measures. To make matters worse, the central government's tax reduction policies aimed at stimulating the economy have resulted in reduced fiscal revenue for local governments. Additionally, the central government's crackdown on real estate developers has caused a nationwide real estate crisis, further impacting the fiscal income of local governments. Income associated with land sales typically accounts for over 30% of local government revenue, and during the period from 2019 to 2021, it was around 40%. However, land sales revenue in 2022 has dropped by nearly one-third compared to 2021. The situation of increased expenditure and sudden income reduction has put local governments in a financial predicament. To fill the gap, local governments have been continuously borrowing money. According to The Guardian's report, when Ye Sun, an analyst at Trivium China, stated that local government debt is a big trouble for the national economy and poses a real risk, 
with the potential for more lower-level governments to default on their debts. In the worst-case scenario, this could trigger a financial crisis, said Wen Ye Sun.